I got this Glacier Pro Plow here. I got it's upside down right now. This goes on a Polaris 800. You notice this cutting edge is pretty much wore out. So I bought this new cutting edge for it. It's a polyurethane cutting edge by made by a company here, Fall Line. You notice I was surprised to see how flexible it is. But these are made for it's just a, a blank cutting edge that I can mount on here, drill some holes, and screw it in. So. I'm gonna give that a try, see how it works. Should note too, I originally bought this piece of UHMW um, for a cutting edge, and this stuff is much more rigid and uh, it handles well in the snow. But this, I saw this online. This is a, like I say, it's very flexible compared to that. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad, but uh, the yellow one here is made specifically for cutting edges on snow plows. So we'll get it taken off. I think I might use this, what's left of this cutting edge. As a backing plate for this for this uh, yellow piece, so I might have to go bolts, buy some bolts that are a little longer. Use the old cutting edge here as a template. Run through the paces a little bit. So I mentioned in the other video, the book I should only have this about a half inch down. I'm about an inch and a half, so I'm probably too low there, but it's working pretty well. Um, the only other thing I'd say on this is if you intend to use the the uh, sliders that you can put on here, then again you want to adjust your cutting edge so that can actually use those. I have it so low that those pucks really didn't do anything, but I'm not a fan of those pucks anyway on these Polaris plows. They're kind of expensive and uh, I end up wearing through a couple sets every year. So, so this is the, the slider that you can get from Polaris uh, through their website or Amazon.com. They work great. They're fine, but I go through so many of these, I, I seem to wear through them too quick. Um, so I'm hoping this, this new Proline cutting edge appears to be working well and I'm not going to need these at all. Also, um, just for fun, I took one of the stems that wore out on an old unit and I uh, just welded up a uh, couple of skis instead. This worked okay and the, the idea was as they wear out you can just put some weld beads down here to slide on instead of having to buy these things all the time. Um, so they work pretty well but they stick out in front of the cutting edge so you can't get down to the ground with something like that. But if you're looking to save up money and not have to go through so many of these things you could probably cut this down even further and extend this out. And, you know, if you're plowing a quarter inch off the ground, that's still pretty good for most gravel driveways. I'm getting a little bit of hop right now because this cutting edge here, right here on this edge, hasn't really wore down at all, which um, isn't a problem. In fact, I'm actually kind of impressed on how long this cutting edge is lasting already. But uh, once it wears down, if I drag it backwards or whatever, I should be able to get a nice edge on there and I'll that should prevent it from hopping any further. So let's get started.
Here's Lathan. Pretty good. What do you think of that? You can't see colors, can you? Not too excited, are you? So that's all for the review on this fall line cutting edge. Um, hope that helps some of you. I apologize for the bad audio quality in some of those clips. My GoPro had a case on it and that was muffling the microphone. But um, hopefully this is helpful to you. And uh, thanks for watching.